Hello everybody, I am Harvest Birdie and welcome back to Abzu. I think I have solved my um, swimming issues from the last video. It turns out the controls were all inverted by default. So I have now switched them over, they are no longer inverted. Hopefully I will no longer be swimming around in circles or with my head on the ocean floor. Oh, wait. Where are my, uh, little camera robot things? Oh, they don't come with me? Oh, alright. I guess our, uh, divers on their own again. Right, what's going on here then? I see lots of fish swimming in one direction. Oh, oh, okay. I guess we're swimming with them. What's this, some sort of fish super highway? I don't know why the uh, schools of fish light up when I swim into them, but I'm going to keep doing it because why not? It looks fun. Oh, I love dolphins. Oh, and they're coming with us. Isn't that common dolphins? Judging by the coloration. Can I hit your ride with one? No, okay, it's not going to let me. Oh my god, look at how many fish there are. This is crazy! There's so many! Is this some sort of migration event? Oh, oh okay, the dolphins are gone. Short but sweet. This is kind of spooky. Oh wait, is that that great white shark again? Oh, alright. Blink and you'll miss it moment. I'm not controlling the diver at the moment, by the way. There's, I can do them left to right, but I can't control them swimming. I was literally just sort of going with the flow. Oh, look! More dolphins! Okay, so is this our area for today? Well, our starting area at least. This is kind of pretty. Right, can I, uh, have a ride with one of you dolphins? Hey! Oh, hang on. There we are. Common dolphin, I was right. Oh, and I get to jump with him. Oh, I'm loving this. That was so amazing. Oh, I, I can actually control him a bit. Oh, I thought you couldn't control the animal when you were riding with him. Oh, well, hang on. I haven't got full control. I can sort of steer them a little, but they're also doing their own thing. But I'm not cool with that. I honestly thought I couldn't do that, to be honest. Oh, this is a nice sized little pod, isn't it? I love the, the clicks and whistles dolphins make. It's so cute. <laughs> Anyone ever seen the movie Dolphin Tail? About uh, the dolphin Windsor who lost uh, her tail and had to get made a prosthetic one. Prosthetic? But, you know, a, a fake tail so she could swim. Oh! A drone! I mean, that was such a lovely movie. I mean, she sadly uh, passed away, I think, a few years ago now. If you haven't seen that movie, go and check it out. That and uh, Dolphin's Tail two as well, sequel. Based on a real life story as well, uh, I'll add. Oh, hang on. I saw a statue. It's going to do some meditation. Right, let's see what we got around us, shall we? 
There's our beautiful common dolphin. Lovely. I do love the um, dolphins. They're so smart as well. Right, what else have we got? Emperor Angelfish. Did we see that last time? Oh, I can't remember now. There's so many fish. I actually can't remember what we've seen and haven't seen. Humphead Wrath. That seems a little mean. Humphead, really? We couldn't, we couldn't think of a nicer name for it. Or Emperor Angelfish. Blue Sturgeon Fish. Look a bit like blue tangs, there you do. I thought they were blue tangs, but apparently not. More Emperor Angelfish. And more. Oh, come on, game. You're not going to show me what some of the other ones are? What about these pinky ones? I want to know what these pink ones are. Oh, there we go. The game heard me. Coral Trout. I mean, it's kind of pretty. Are the ones... Is that... Uh, one next to it, a Coral Trout as well? Because it looks very similar. And those white ones. Is there some sort of a colour differentiation? Bicolour parrotfish? I believe parrotfish eat coral. Again, I can't remember if I saw them in the last video, so I might be repeating myself. I think parrotfish eat coral, which is why they've got, uh, they actually got beaks. Of course, you can't see it. Because the game won't let me zoom in on the fish. It is obsessed with this humphead rats. Just leave it alone. What about these, uh, other ones? What are they? I really wish there was a way you could, like, pick what fish you want to see rather than the game picking it, because it just keeps choosing the same fish all the time. <laughs> oh, that is a coral trout as well. So it's not sexual dimorphism, because the game told us last time when we were looking at a female and a male. So it must be some sort of variation in the colour then. Or maybe they're a coral trout from a different area and they've just lumped it together in the game. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that because I feel like the games are showing us mostly the same things again and again. Alright, let's have a little look around, see if there's any of those um, pools I need to do. Have I been in there? Have I been in this cave? Okay, yes I have. That's uh, where I got the drone. Uh, hey dolphin buddies, I don't mind you joining me, but could you uh, not bump into me please? <laughs> We're a bit tight on space in this little cave here. It's kind of cute they're following me though. I mean, I didn't realise they would. I thought they'd be happy enough swimming around out here. Maybe it's just because I'm something I've, they've never seen before, so they're sort of curious about me. Oh, a pool! Let's see what we're going to get today. Up a fish! One of the dolphins will play with them. I'm sure I've never seen a video of a dolphin playing with a a fish. It didn't hurt it or anything. It was sort of like bumping it with its nose. <laughs> Dolphins do play games uh, with uh, objects. I think they've been video playing with bits of seaweed and um, making bubble rings that they can swim through. Well, if you go check it out on um, YouTube, the bubble rings are really adorable. <laughs> I'm sure, right. Well, we've got a bit of a vantage point. Let's have a look around up here. Is there anything else around here I can see to look at? Good thing we've got some clear water, otherwise I'd be having a real hard job trying to see. I don't 
think so. I'm actually kind of surprised for a big area there doesn't actually seem to be much to do. Hang on, I've just got an idea. Can I uh, ride with this guy? Being he's so big. I can. There we go. Still a bit weird how uh, the diver's clinging on to them. I mean, none of the fish seem to be actually bothered by me uh, clinging on to them. You think really they'd sort of go a bit um, ballistic, to be honest. Uh, thinking I'm a predator or just uh, some sort of nuisance parasite that's clinging on to them. Actually, how was I riding the dolphins? I wasn't... Uh, Who's next dolphin? Okay, yes, yeah, so I'm still clinging onto the side. Uh, so either our diver's got some sort of suction pads on their gloves, or I, I don't know, they're just ring really clingy because dolphins have sort of really rubbery skin, so I wouldn't think they'd be that easy to grab on and hold onto underwater. It'd probably be better if the dive was uh, holding onto the dorsal fin. Or if one of the front flippers, even. Then sort of just clinging onto the side like that. Oh, I haven't done that one. Nearly missed that. What's this one going to give us? Place your bets, everyone. Also, with what are those green things? Grey reef shark. They didn't look grey though, they look brown. Yeah, what are these things? I thought they were like little plants. And then they all vanish when you swim near them. Oh, they're kind of a kind of a little weird. They're some sort of eel or worm. Strange. Right, let's go and check out a grey reef shark if I can find one and then we'll move on. Don't bully it, dolphin buddies. Because uh, when sh dolphins attack sharks, they uh, hit the gills with their... Uh, uh, like the tips of their snouts. Of course, I have to imagine that's quite painful with a shark because that, that's where they breathe. And it's a bit of a sensitive area, and I imagine as well. It must hurt a lot. Yeah, so these are... They're brown. Why are they called grey reef sharks? Surely bronze or, or brown reef shark would be a more appropriate name. Uh, I don't know. Maybe these ones are just a more brownie version of the grey reef shark. I'm not going to be tend to know. Right, uh, I believe that's everything. That's the cave I was in. Done pools. I don't think there's any more caves around here. That's where I came from. Right, right. I guess this area's done then. Oh, I don't want to leave the dolphins, but I've got to move on. So long, dolphins. Looks like I'm uh, into another fish superhighway here. Oh, it's got some turtles in it as well. Oh, is that tuna? I gotta do it. There we go. Join us, fishies. Grab that shell. You gonna let me? Yeah, there we go. I thought I had to swim right up to it, but I guess I got lucky that time. Are we gonna get anything else joining up? Orcas! Oh my god, this is awesome. First dolphins, now orcas. Game dev, you were spoiling me today.
Oh, and sailfish. I think all the blue merlins. Still awesome. Wow, we get so much today. It's overwhelming. Oh, the orcas are staying with us. Maybe they're going to follow us into the next area. Oh my god, and we got to jump with them. That is so cool. Oh. Well. Well, this is a bit of a depressing area. Where did the orcas go? We jumped with them, but they didn't come into this area. Well, could you blame them? Need to come up with a name for these areas. Let's call them um, uh, grey zones. I would call them dead zones, but since there's still plant life here, it's not technically a dead zone. So let's call them grey zones. Yeah, I guess that was a fun little moment that ended too quickly with the orcas. Who's my drone? Is it not? Is it not coming with us? I, I can't tell if it's stuck up there or if it is just not coming. No matter. Diver's eyes still freak me out though. Oh, there it is. Come on, drone, we got work to do. Well, I got work to do, but you're coming with me. I'd love to know why we have these grey zones. This is the second area we've encountered like this. I wonder if we're going to get a reason why. Right, I'm assuming the same thing's going to happen as last time. We're going to go into some sort of ghostly hologram temple area. Okay, yeah. So it looks like we're going to keep returning to this area then. There's our Ammonites. Oh, there's more of them! So there's a uh, five. Five of them now. I wonder, um... Do the number of Ammonites we see here correspond with the shells I've been collecting? I, I, I don't know how many shells I've collected to this point, but... There's more than last time. Or maybe it's just every time I come here, more just show up. Oh, look, there's uh, the manta ray from the first chapter. Oh, it's nice if we can still see it. I don't... Can I go over to it? I don't know if I can go over to it. Let's try. I can go over. That's nice. You can go in and have a brief little visit of a place you've already been. That's cool. So, how many are left to do then? That's the one we're going to do in a moment. Uh, two? There's one to the left. One in front of us. So, two more of those temples left to do. Or grey zones, I guess. Okay. Well, let's get this one out of the way with. Find out what we're going to get today. Okay, so we've got the bubble like we did before. Oh, we get the orcas! Oh, that means we're, I'm going to be able to swim with an orca once we uh, exit this place.
Okay, first things first, I have to go and swim with an orca. I do love when we uh, resurrect these places, or just how full of life and colour they are. Such a stark contrast to how it was just a minute ago. Here we go. Oh, look, there's a baby! Oh, they've got a little pup! Oh, look how tiny it is compared to the adult! I didn't think we were going to see babies, because the orca pod had no babies. Oh, it's just the one little baby on his own. Okay, can I maybe swim with the baby? Oh, I can! Oh, this is so amazing. I am loving this level. Oh, look, we are only just a little bit longer than the Yorker baby. If you uh, count the loop for our flippers. Oh. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> also, fun little fact um, Orcas are also known as killer whales. Are actually not whales in that sense. They are a cetacean, which is all like the whale dolphin family. They are actually just really large dolphins. Really large black and white dolphins. Also, um, you can tell where an orca lives by the markings. So you get some that have really small eye spots, you know, that big white patch you see in its head. Let me let me just uh, ride with it again a moment. Some have really small ones. Some you can tell from like the marking on the back, which these ones don't have. But then some of them will have like a grey sort of wavy marking behind the dorsal fin. And I think some of them also have slightly different colours. I think there's one that's a slightly more blackish brown colour rather than black and white. And I can tell you where they live and therefore also what they hunt. So, for example, the whales that live in the upper, um, near the North Pole will hunt the uh, seals, for example, whereas ones that live a bit further south will only be hunting fish. And I believe they also um, have like different accents, if you want to say that, or dialects. Which is why you you can't actually mix orcas that live from different areas and put them together. Because they won't get along. Oh yeah, just some fun little facts I wanted to share. Right, I saw a statue that I want to go and uh, sit on real quick. Also, very long-lived orcas. I don't think they could get up to like 50 years old. Actually, I think it was like a female that lived longer than that. Also, I just realised something. I think all these orcas are male. So I'm not sure how there's a uh, calf amongst them. Because female orcas have a short, curled dorsal fin. All these orcas have tall, straight dorsal fins, which would make a male. I don't know. Maybe they adopted it. Uh, where is that statue? I swear I saw one. Am I going blind? Am I hallucinating? Oh, there it is. I wasn't imagining it. Swim, diver, swim. Right, let's see what lovelies we've got around us. I think that's a barracuda on the right. Yep, there we go, barracuda. Look at that, but rather mean looking fish, isn't it? Oh, a green turtle. Is it green? Yeah, green sea turtle. The sort of turtle everyone thinks of when you think of a turtle. He's lovely. Just chilling, having a placid swim around the ocean. Right, 
Right, Barracuda, we've seen that. Seen Barracuda again. Game, okay. I've seen enough Barracudas. Stop looking at Barracudas. I think the game's obsessed with Barracudas. Okay, there we go. Broke the chain. Yellow tanks. What else? Uh, Barracuda again. Really? Game. There's more fish here than Barracudas. Let me see them. Okay, we've got our parrot fish. I think I saw a unicorn fish there. Game, if you show me a barracuda one more time, I think I will actually go crazy. Stop showing me barracudas! What, you want me dreaming of barracudas? Okay, I'm going to exit out for a second and try to go back in. I feel like the game's glitched though. With its obsession of showing me barracudas. Game, stop! Oh my god, game! I got a parrot fish. Come on, there's some other fish here that I don't know what they are. Okay, there's the unicorn fish. I definitely remember that from last time. Brief trigger fish. Did we see that last time? I can't remember. Well, there it is. Oh, is that a blue tank? That looks like one. Is that Dory? But the game won't confirm all the night for me. Whoa, okay. I don't think that was meant to happen. Okay, um, I think I best stop there because I feel like the game's glitching a little. We'll just pretend we didn't see any of that, okay? Yes? All in agreement? Good. Hey, you're good. i got to head off now, guys. I mean, hopefully you guys won't be stuck in this area because it's a bit of a small space for a pod of orcas. Oh, I, d I love the sounds they make as well. Dolphins, orcas, porpoises, the sounds they make are so cute. I can listen to them all day. Right, let's head into this bit of a worse for wear looking temple. Bye guys! I just realised, look at the size of these vases. Can I like swim near one? There we go, look at, look at the size of it. It's taller than our diver. Or just as tall, maybe, because I can't quite stay still. Were the divers people that big? How did they even carry these? They must have been giants. Also, it looks like they've got uh, little orca paintings on them. Kind of scary. Okay, we've got another mural by the looks of it. Let's see what this one's showing us. Oh! Wait, is that... The great white shark we saw in the first chapter? Well, that had scars on it, didn't it? Okay, so... It's, ha it's got some sort of history with the diver people, then. I don't understand, though, what this mural's trying to show us. Were they... Were they worshipping it? Um... But that's that bubble, though, isn't it? That when we go into the ghost temple, that's the bubble that, well, not bubble, that orb of light that comes out of us. Did they create the shark? Or were they, um, perhaps giving it to the shark, like some sort of a uh, offering? Maybe that explains why the shark doesn't seem to like us. It's got some sort of history with us. Maybe it's one of those situations where it started out, with, um, started out as an icon of worship and then things took a turn and it became an enemy. Okay. Looks like we might be in a little story going on here then. I've seen that sort of mural before. Okay, so that looks like that's it then. Oh, so... Looks like we got some history with this shark then. Oh, and now we've swum right into a feeding frenzy. 
Can I, uh, can I go and swim over to them? Can I get right in the middle of that huge school of fish? Oh, I can, here we go. Let's get right in the middle of it. Oh, listen to that noise. Hundreds of fish all swimming together. That's not the sort of thing you hear in the nature documentaries, is it? I don't know what these are. Oh, it looks like I've got some sort of swordfish. Can I, uh... Okay, I wanted to hitch a ride with the swordfish. Another grey reef shark. Oh, it's actually small compared to that swordfish. What's it expecting that? I guess because you always sort of picture sharks as being like the biggest predators in the ocean. Apart from uh, killer whales. I think they're the biggest predator in that sort of sense of like fish ha hunting. Okay, I missed what this was. I was too busy talking. <laughs> Pay attention, Harvest. Striked Marlin. I kind of like it. I like that sort of blue colour with the white stripes. That's neat. Uh, right, is there a statue around here anywhere? I always have to try and remind myself to look for a statue before I get too carried away. Ah, good. There's one down here. Let's head down here then, shall we? No way. Oh, there's a whale! I must... Oh, there's... They're humpback whales! Wow, we are getting so many cetaceans today. Come here, whaley. I want to catch a ride. Here we are, humpback whale. Oh, these ones are actually really good looking. They don't have any barnacles on their on the on their gins or on their flippers. Oh, I can kind of control it as well. That's so good. Cool. Look at that! I'm making the the way will do my bidding. Why photogenic? Uh, have backwards. There's so many videos of them jumping um, or breaching, as it's called, out of the water and um, going on the surface to slap their fins down. I believe there's also sightseeing tours you can get in a. Do I think it is to see humpback whales? Okay, buddy, off you go. Right. Okay, I think before I go and do the statue... Ooh, hang on, there's another shark here. What's this one? I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> I was going to head down to the bottom. What are you, some sort of white tip? Oceanic white tip shark. Well, at least you have a suitable name. They didn't give to you something silly like yellow tip reef shark. you got some big fins on you. Also, your dorsal is... More rounded than the other sharks. Right, as I was about to do, I'm going to say, I'm going to quickly head down to the bottom. Make sure there's nothing down here. Um, any uh, more pools hidden right down at the bottom of the, on the sea floor. Oh boy, my stress levels are going up, I'm not going to lie. Hold your nerve, Harvest. Hold your nerve. Okay, here we are. Oh! Okay, looks like we've got a bit of a walkway that's collapsed. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. This, this must be the last bit of the north then. These are all um, really old abandoned ruins that have just fallen into neglect. Uh, they're just uh, coming apart and collapsing. 
Right, has anybody been down here at all? Shells. Pools. Come on. Game, reward me for my bravery. <laughs> Give me something that made it co worthwhile coming down here. Okay, there's a shell. I'll take that. Anything else? No? So it's just the ruin stand here then? The problem with uh this game, so I never know. Oh, okay, I was about to say, I never know when I'm hitting the sort of boundary of the map. <laughs> At least it's not a invisible wall sort of thing. If the game does turn you round, I do like that. Especially you're somewhere dark like this, you can't always tell when you've hit an invisible wall. At least there's some fish around there to keep me company, not complete darkness then. Any more ruins? I don't think there's any pools down here by the looks of it. Oh, look at that! Horseshoe crabs! They are really old. They've been around since before the dinosaurs. They're kind of alien looking, aren't they? I can, can't really shine my torch on it very well, but hopefully you can all see it. There we go, there's one. Look at that! And they're um, big as well. Hey, buddy. Having fun down here? I swear I saw a lobster. Okay, I think it, uh, I think it's walked off. I don't see it anymore. Okay, I think it's time to start heading back up, shall we? Or I completely lose my mind and uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to f find that statue again. Are those the whales I'm hearing? Oh my god, it's a basking shark! Come, come here basking shark! Wow, I was not expecting that. I nearly missed it. One of the biggest shark species, if not the biggest shark species. Another plankton feeder, this one. Yeah, as you can see, no deep. Wow, I'm feeling so spoiled right now. Dolphins, orcas, humpback whales, and now a basking shark. The next level is going to have so much difficulty topping this one. <laughs> Look at that. Big hungry dude, apparently. Just seeing, can I make you swim up? No, you, okay. It doesn't want to swim up, I don't blame it. Okay, buddy, off you go. Oh my god, this game is so amazing. I'm just loving the variety of ocean life we're seeing in this. I've got to give it to the devs for that. They've really gone all out with it all. It's like they don't have to add this many species in, but they did, and I'm just loving it. I really am. It's feeding the animal nerd in me. Okay, Grey Reef Shark. Ah, uh, singing humpback whale. I believe they're fish eaters, if I remember right. I don't think they eat those fish up there. I think they eat slightly smaller fish. There's the other. Looks like I've got a small little gathering of them by the looks of it. Ah, uh, grey reef shark again. Yellowtail Snapper. Well, that's a new one. I've not seen that one before. What about the other one swimming with you? Can we find out what that is? Nope. Okay. 
Giant Trevally. Oh, so that's where that school of fish is, the uh, school of Giant Trevally. Not having a great time, are they? You'll we'll, we'll get snapped up by the sharks and the marlins. Okay, you're not going to get locked on to show me Giant Trevally now, are you? Okay, apparently it is. Really, game? Come on, I... I don't want to be sat here all day looking at Giant Trevally. What about that thing up there? What's that? Okay, hang on. Let me exit out and go back in. Oh, oh. Sorry. Press run button. Right, Grey Reef Shark. Yeah, what's this thing? Mahi Mahi? Or is it Mahai Mahai? I don't know how to pronounce that. It's a funny looking one though, isn't it? No splash of colour in the area though. <laughs> Careful swimming around there mate, you might get eaten. <laughs> oh look at that, the humpback opened his mouth! Oh blast, I wish I was a bit closer to see that. And there's our oceanic white to begin. Right, I think that actually covers everything in this area by uh, the fish that was swimming with that yellow tail snapper, but i got a feeling I'm not going to find out what that was. <laughs> Let's try real quick. Are you going to tell me, game? Well, there's our striped marlin. Reef shark again. The humpback. Yeah, I don't think the game's going to tell me. I mean, if we've got any fish experts out here that want to name some of them, be my guest. I'm happy to learn. Pilot fish? Pilot fish again. Okay, I think that will do. I don't wish I could find out what every species is that's swimming around, but I feel like I'll be here for hours trying to get the game to show me that one species of fish it won't name. Okay, so it looks like that's it for this area then. Going to head over to the doors with my one drone friend. I don't know if there were more I was supposed to get, but I've only found the one, so that will do. I only need the one, I guess. Right, almost to this still ominous looking door, if I'm honest. Where the drones go? I didn't notice that previously. I still don't understand why they can't stay with us, but I guess that's just a level thing. It gives us some, um, it gives us a reason to look around, I guess, and explore. Right, I guess that'll be it for today's video. I mean, I am loving it. I am loving this so much. It's like, give me all the fish, give me all the mammals and the reptiles that swim in the oceans. But I am just, I am eating it all up right now. <laughs> but I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel to follow more of my uh, undersea adventures in Abzu. I hope you all join me for the next one. Until then, take care everyone.